proper as a uh, uh, master, uh, but we need like a uh, training. Yeah, so far it's just training. But we open to discussion on having a master uh, program. Yeah, and it would be nice uh, if we can work together on that. Okay, uh, so just to inform, uh, so our services is uh, research and development, as I, as I mentioned as well, also consulting, yeah, and also training programs. Yeah. Um, so our domain specific uh, application, so you can see. Okay, so we. Because um, the field that we uh, work on, I can put them into such uh, domain specific applications so in health, in academia, in sustainability, in human resource analysis, in human computer analytics. These are all applications. Yeah? Uh, data that is focused on that areas. Yeah? But also, being a researcher, we also look at the foundations of data science, the algorithms, the techniques used, and 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 as I mentioned just now, uh, on our objective, our mission is to come up with this workbench. So in order for you to do that, you, you will need to be very strong in your foundations of data science. Yeah. So we follow all this. The one the tutorial is obviously the data science life cycle. Yeah. I think all of you know. Life cycle, the one that I don't have the domain understanding, that the preparation is on, this of course. So putting up, put them into like a workbench. Okay, I don't have that in here, so I'm not going to go up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
those data that uh, that is not only the cases but also its demographic demographic uh, data yeah? the demographic data as well as the uh, geospatial data so use it uh, uh, use this data uh, to, to do some uh, auto correlation and regression partially yeah uh, so he he managed to come up with uh, because our aim is to make it generic, yeah? so so um, yeah, we come up with this uh, methodology. Uh, so whenever you have uh, data such as this, wherever, so uh, this one is called Sarawak. So if, if you have in Indonesia or in Salatiga, and you have uh, such data, you have with its demographic as, as well as partial, follow this recipe, then you will be able to generate all these partial autocorrelation regression um, analysis. Okay. And uh, yeah, so obviously with geo uh, geolocations and all those things, you will be able to do very nice uh, geo visualization. So, so we, we did that uh, flexible analysis as well. Um, and with all this, because because of that methodology that we came up with, uh, it will, it's easier to then come up with an application. So here he, he used every all his analysis he used R. So I'm not sure whether you have heard R language. Yeah. yeah. So we use R and then use R shiny uh, and then we'll put it as a dashboard. Okay. And 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 create our mobile apps as well. On that, okay. So that is uh, the work uh, uh, by uh, Dr. Pam Yeah. Uh, next one is uh, my colleague uh, Dr. Norman Andri. So he is uh, working on, um, you know, during COVID time, with people wondering whether what you receive, whether it's a trustworthy uh, message or not. So he come up with this. Uh, it, will, it will be a bot. It's a bot, a trust roller that is uh, that is able to identify whether the message is uh, false or true. Yeah? So and he also come up with some sort of a methodology. Uh, yeah. So and if if I'm not mistaken, he. He also come up with an app uh, to, to do that. Yeah. Let's look at that one. <laughs> okay, so basically it does that, yeah. It's uh his uh, attempt of uh, coming up with um a methodology for, for this. Okay, so it's determining the level of trustworthiness of information in social media. Um, this one is by my colleague Dr. Chai Susi uh, on uh, GIS uh, data as well as uh, on um, news about uh, it being a slide and so on. Yeah? So he, she used uh, Abjis and um, and come up with landslide inventory map, uh, database, and uh, do some prediction whether there will be some uh, more landslide happening around the area. So, yeah, so she used uh, random forest and XG boost for that. Okay. So, this one is on uh, landslide susceptibility map in Asia. Let's uh, focus on uh, the area that she managed to get the data. So obviously with, with us, that sometimes if we don't have a rich data, then it's very difficult to do as well. So for this case, she only managed to get around Penang uh, Island and also Penang uh, Island. Um, yeah, uh, as, as you know, uh, like I mentioned just now, uh, we can't do anything without data. So, and in order for us to, to bring impact 
will need to work together with uh, you know people outside. So what my colleagues did, uh, you can uh, follow them. Uh, just go to Madrid System Sarawak and then say that okay, we can help you to give um, to have some data analysis with your with the data that you have. Yeah? So so they look with uh, MIS and uh, have a grant to, to work on the data that they have, uh, coming up with uh, mapping as well as uh, uh, whatever that uh, is required by the client, yeah? for the client. Uh, so again, uh, like I mentioned just now, for, for this, they just do it for, for the client and um, uh, there's no methodology or no uh, work going towards a uh, generic platform. Um, but this one is, um, they did mainly for the client, yeah? so they come up with a dashboard only for, for them. Uh, the same uh, group uh, then work on a different uh, type of data. So the data just now is mainly uh, numerics uh, data and all, all, all uh, demographic data and so on. This one is uh, data on uh, MRI, yeah? MRI images. So they are using uh, a lot of uh, image processing. Uh, so their proposed solution is to automatically identify patients uh, uh, to see the status, uh, whether um, they have a heart problem or not. Yeah? So basically, it helps with the cardiac um, department uh, to pre diagnose, to give a pre diagnosis of the uh, patient that they receive. Okay. Um, also, uh, led by the same uh, lady just now, this one of Diane, previous one of Diane, this one of Diane, uh, also on image processing. Uh, look, this one she managed to get a grant um, with uh, Newton Fund, uh, where they do classification of astronomical uh, images. Yeah? So it is a huge, uh, because there are so many images in. And the galaxy uh, taken uh, through the satellite, uh, so they they do uh, deep learning and uh, classifying these archives. Okay? So this one also all done already. So the database is uh, available. Uh, it's, uh, uh, they they manage to uh, create that uh, nice classification of uh, astronomical um, images. Um, Similar approach but different data. Obviously, uh, this one is on the uh, image of the eye. Okay, uh, so they use the retinal images to identify whether uh, there's a uh, uh, sickness in, in this person in the in the person or not. So eye disease. Uh, so I'm not too sure what what eye disease it, it, it is, but uh, this one is led by uh, another. Uh, colleague of mine, Dr. Stephanie. Uh, so uh, with this um, data, uh, they come up with a, an app uh, so that it helps uh, the, the doctors to also do uh, uh, pre-diagnosing of uh, retinal uh, images. Yeah? So with the retinal images, they are able to do classification, whether they is a cataract, or diabetic, uh, diabetic glaucoma and normal. Yeah? So they classify all the images uh, collected earlier by the ophthalmologist and then uh, they, they, they do that. So this is also available as an app. Okay. Uh, then uh, I have a uh, Colleague uh, from Faculty of Engineering, so I, I forgot to mention the staff that the 34 of us uh, in the research uh, center, they are not only, I mean, the researchers are not only from my faculty, they are also from, from other faculty. Because we realize 
even in faculty of engineering, faculty of computer, uh, cognitive sciences, they also do data science problems. Okay? So it's not only from our uh, faculty. So Dr. Ted Kaimin from Faculty of Engineering, he come up with uh, this. So this one is very uh, fundamental uh, data science. He came up with a new technique uh, using other inference systems uh, that is able to. I'm not too sure for what. <laughs> but it is really on uh, on coming up with a way to uh, do some aggregating, uh, different different type of aggregating, not the normal type of aggregation. So with this aggregation, you are able to like uh, label uh, some data with meaning, with, even though it's fuzzy, but but it has some meaning. So, so he applied it in many areas of not mistaken, yeah, but uh, his group uh, came up with this uh, interesting um, way of uh, fuzzifying, fuzzifying the, uh, the data. Yeah? So this is uh, what, what he is he has done. And still uh, working on this because obviously uh, when you come up with a a uh, new method, a uh, new algorithm, you, you will need to test it on different, different uh, problems. Yeah? So he's still doing that. <clears throat> so one student do one application, one student do another application, and so on. Okay. Um, this one is uh, our young uh, researcher, Dr. Nampakta. Uh, so uh, he is uh, Using uh, some AI technique to uh, classify human activity recognition. So, we also came up with um, some methodology there. Uh, so, the usual, yeah, the usual segmentation, single feature extraction uh, kind of you know, way, machine learning uh, way to classify simulation whether. I mean, classify uh, human activity yeah? uh, using maybe uh, what a watch or, or your handphone. Uh, so it can, it can detect whether you are walking, you are sleeping, you are sitting down, you are running, or whatever the human activity recognition is. So he uses artificial uh, deep colony algorithm for that. And he's still working on it. He's saying that he's uh, still, um, there's a, a lot more research going on on, on this actually, because not only you classify this uh, five uh, activities, there are other activities that they would want to um, classify and able to predict or not predict, detect and yeah? identify. Uh, my colleague Dr. Chia uh, was uh, well still uh, working on crowd simulation. Uh, this one is uh, looking at uh, the behavior of uh, how the human uh, or any even animals, yeah, uh, um, yeah. Uh, uh, behave when when there's some some forcing uh, for you to move away from uh, some danger. Yeah? So this is a crowd simulation where they use a social force model. He mainly used uh, agent based uh, modeling uh, in general for this. Uh, my uh, colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Fatiha Rami, is uh, working on natural language processing. So she came up with um, ontology, yeah? ontology of historical newspapers. Uh, and so, yeah, so. I'm not familiar with it actually, but they are finding that they don't know. That was good for Oh, okay. This one is methodology. Methodology. So, yeah, I am not sure what this actually is. But uh, she was telling me that they are coming up with a ontology for. 
uh, using the historical inspection so that it's easier for them with, with this new uh, new new thing then they are able to like uh, uh, find out uh, historical data what happened where and all those things and then whether they uh, and if you want to do some sentiment analysis can also do uh, their ontology Um, my colleague uh, T.S. Sharul uh, used, uh, well, come up with uh, data analysis. I think this one is quite common uh, when you are using IoT, um, IoT and then you, you apply it on um, agriculture. Yeah, so with IoT, you need to come up with a dashboard. So this is what is uh, done by Sharul, and I think uh, this is quite the um, common thing uh, that we need to have yeah uh, but uh, with with the dashboard you will need then do some analysis so that is also happening in, in this dashboard uh, oh yeah this one is uh, just uh, a letter to the editor written by the same guy he was uh, writing about the uh, data and natural application this one is uh, again of the step you did the eyes just now. So yeah, so you realize that yeah, um, data. Uh, what she has just now is image of the retina. Here, image of skin burn. So she used the same kind of like methodology to come up with another application. So with the retina just now, also another application. So with this symbol is another application. The recipe is really the same. So that's what I mentioned, I mentioned to my uh, researchers. I said the uh, aim to come up with a generic thing, and then uh, you know, everywhere you go, you just follow this thing and then customize it to your client. So she did this uh, also for uh, uh, using a skin burn uh, uh, images and classify uh, to see the the uh, the level yeah degree yeah uh, for for burn get it degree first degree burn second degree burn so the application is able to identify what degree burn uh, the patient uh, burn. Because of fire, fire, yeah, fire, fire. Okay, so this one, uh, my note, uh, I think I, I shared a, a lot last time when uh, we had the online one. So um, I come up with a, a, a way to detect a uh, hotspot, yeah. So it's a long journey, and this one uh, it started with malaria, and then uh, with malaria I, I, I then tested on uh, identifying hotspot for dolphins, and then with that I uh, work on um, a dengue. Uh, then I come up with that methodology so that there are other applications that can follow with this same methodology. So at the moment, uh, we are coming up with a generic way of, you know, so any any problem that wants to identify top spot, for example, yeah, so can just uh, use the platform to to come up with your own uh, customized um, tool, yeah, web, web based tool. Because we, we came up with our own web based tool for daily. Yeah? So for daily, we, uh, there is a, um, an app, uh, a web app already uh, that is able to uh, pinpoint uh, where is the place to send your fogging. Because for daily, when you have a, a daily case, um, then you will need to do the fogging to keep the mosquito. So most of the time, Ministry of Health will go and talk at the patient's uh, house. But 
before the person get the disease, they will be walking around, right? So they will go work, they will go shopping. So most likely the baby occur at not in their home. So this is what my uh, method can uh, uh, show that the, the patient uh, likely of getting the disease outside the home. So, so we come up with a uh, web tool for that and now uh, as we speak, we, I just received a, a grant to come up with a generic platform for this. Mm -hmm. um, this one is again shallow, shallow uh, uses augmented uh, reality. I just put it, put it together here because uh, uh, he, he is my researcher. So, uh, and though not so much data there, uh, but uh, yeah, he is using uh, augmented reality uh, to come up with this uh, uh, app. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Lim. Um, this one is also an app. Uh, I'm not too sure whether she is using some data. This one is just an app uh, to learn mathematics. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, oh, okay. So this one is, uh, I think I checked this as well last time. Uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Jamari, uh, uses uh, some deep learning approach. You, uh, for classification of uh, or counting of vehicles yeah, on the road. Yeah, so he also came up with some app. A lot of us are coming up with an app. Yeah, this one driving distraction detection framework. So this one coming up with a framework uh, to detect whether you are falling asleep or not while you drive. <coughs> And my colleague of the sir is on uh, working on scheduling. So this is very operational research. Uh, so the data is uh, many of the data of uh, the time, the rostering yeah? and scheduling uh, solutions. So she also uh, moving towards generalizing. Yeah? So which means that uh, any problem with rostering or scheduling, as long as you mention what and what, and uh, follow the recipe, should be able to come up with an app as well. This one, my colleague just came back from uh, France uh, working on uh, natural language processing. So, this one is uh, Dr. Sarah. Uh, they are transcribing um, Sarawak has a lot of uh, ethnic ethnic group. So uh, with, with this ethnic group, it comes languages. So with these languages, you would want to preserve them uh, and also preserve in terms of uh, let others learn about it. So in order for a person to learn about language, you need to do some translation. So because of that, then you will need to do uh, a lot of uh, natural language uh, processing. So even coming up with uh, the purpose itself, it is also take time. So, so um, yeah, uh, they also come up with a, an app that that uh, does uh, speech speech to text uh, recognition. So it is able to like uh, you you can record anyone in the world, uh, and it, you just. Uh, uh, um, talk and then it, it is able to like, translate sound. Yeah, okay. uh, translate not yet. Transcribe. Transcribe. Yes, yes, yes. Teach me text. Yeah, and yeah, uh, then uh, another colleague of the form. Again, this is uh, image again. Uh, so, with image processing, coming up with information system about some, this one is plant, huh? uh, the Oko, <laughs> Aga, Aga Wood. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so she, uh, they come up with this uh, um, classification 
and then enhance some of the uh, platform for them. Uh, this one is just to uh, just to show that the data science also enter some uh, uh, hackathon, I think this is hackathon. Um, uh, solving data science problem within two weeks, something like that. So this one is on uh, pneumonia uh, chest x-ray uh, images. So we come up with a new, well, basically new technique uh, to classify whether they have Pneumonia, bacterial pneumonia or viral pneumonia. Yeah, we managed to get a uh, best potential award uh, uh, in that uh, hackathon. It's, it's called the. It is. It's actually uh, organized by NUS. In Yeah, so that one is just highlights of uh, projects that are uh, done by my colleagues and I. Um, but looking at all these, uh, yeah, it keeps us, keeps us busy, keeps us get, getting uh, students, uh, get us to uh, have some content for our papers, which is good for us and academy, academic side. But uh, the main challenge at the research center um, is to see this output that we get after after we, we have done the project to, to bring it forward, to bring it more further, uh, not not just not just simply to for the uh, research project to end. That's it. You see, it, it has to go beyond. It has to go beyond. And my I, uh, this is from my own thought yeah, that our challenge is from research to commercialization. It, it, it is not clear yet because when I say that's not okay, uh, my colleague doing this for another client, my colleague doing this for another client. Client here is, is simply because uh, either uh, their student is working for that, for that uh, company. So at the end of the day, that, that product is just there, it's by the uh, student and then we, we don't know whether uh, the, the company will use it further or not, you know, and this, we have never like sell anything, you know, that's what I mean by commercialize. Commercialize maybe they uh, to get them to subscribe, you know, then you have some some money generated, you know, things like that. So far, that's our channel. We uh, usually say, for example, my, my daily one, I come up with the app, they're happy, and then they say, oh, we are going to see your help. We don't have money to work. <laughs> so, so you, but you want, you want your product to be used. You know that it can it can be used and they can they can benefit. In fact, they say so that it's beneficial. But that's that's way it ends. So and it's uh, very frustrating. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that is our our challenge actually: research to commercialization. And um, I I guess uh, this one is uh, too thinking. <laughs> And I haven't even discussed this with my uh, other researchers, my research channels. This is, you are, you guys are the first, first to see this. This is just from my thoughts that in order to, to close this gap, uh, research to commercialization, uh, yes, we need to do all these things and, and we really need to focus. So, focus to have. An industry collaboration whereby we really need to have a proper agreement and then after that they will say okay yes we are going to uh, bring it forward and then help help to to and, you know bring it further to another uh, client you know things like that <coughs> technology also program so we, 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 we need that business incubators and staff yeah 
that. So this is another good way uh, of motivating our students uh, because those good students who will help with coming up with the app, they would probably want to, based on this app, they can come up with a startup, startup, you know, uh, become an entrepreneur and then uh, do, do, do uh, business, yeah? Um, we can, we will probably need to do a market research and need some ass assessment to see what is the, um, the need of, you know, uh, those people uh, with data, yeah? so uh, we need this because once our project finished, we cannot just sit there, we will need to go next and next and next, so that's why we need to do a market research and make assessment all the time. And regarding the ownership of the uh, intellectual right, so we will need to have a proper management as well. On that as well. Uh, and obviously, strategic partnerships is also a uh, way forward, I believe. Uh, with strategic partnerships, uh, we can have a proper um, agreement on on uh, working on an uh, app, and then uh, with that, um, we can go further in uh, because every app has an enhancement so, and that, those enhancements is actually research as well. It's not just development. When I say that, it's standard uh, development, but when you are doing enhancement, you are actually doing some research on that. Right? So they must get, they, they, we, we can look on that uh, on uh, strategic partnerships. Yeah, so basically, um, I am really glad uh, that you, you invited me today to, to share with you what you have. And I would really uh, love it to hear what you have, actually. And uh, perhaps uh, this is the time to unlock tomorrow's solutions. Today is the time to do that. Yeah. So that is my takeaway message that uh, uh, we, we, we shouldn't just, uh, you know, I come here, I need to do that, then that's it. But I really hope that this is a starting to uh, a good uh, strategic partnership with, with your uh, center. So thank you so much. Yes, not only machine learning, but also operation research and also uh, general organization and so on. And in undergraduate students, we have also some uh, in the uh, for the students in undergraduate students, we have several uh, projects. For example, in operation research students. Uh,
And this is very, very difficult to make this because usually you have a family more than that you are in Here, if we have the maximum size of the yeah, inside the microchip, so what kind of maximum can we be put there? So, there are a lot of uh, examples, and I think it is good in a problem we share, especially for the for the for it outside the internet. So, your idea is to do a uh, box acting on the sensor, right? Yes, that's the thing uh, is a part. Yeah, so it's very suspicious. No need to send the data to uh, the yeah. server. It's just, it's just yes. box acting on the sensor. And then we automatic, uh, automatic things there yeah. because uh, there, there is no software in this around. So other things, I mean, uh, yeah, I think that is, you know, we can start from the one thing from NLP, yeah. and so for image processing, we have also some uh, work, and I think uh, daily, daily work. Uh, so part will be like to 30, oh, especially okay. for six flat uh, nets. Uh, yes, six flat nets uh, restrictions. We have to use there. The use in this here is what we can make. We can go there with the panel. Yeah. So they have to run to classify the raw materials because uh, they have to uh, process it and then it can, uh, the final products, but the raw material is uh, so uh, very, uh, there are a lot of process. So, mm -hmm. I think actually we cannot officially specify that usually using the the density of the letter, the the Right now is to 
to make the synthetic uh, skin, which is an our engineer, but not the normal CT scan as we call it. So it means that we have to make a photo with a very rough photo, very blue, but then we will ask the uh, scientists to be to, to read the activity with uh, the best position of the cancer. So we, we have already uh, in the top of this skin they are collected and very of very high uh, uh, resolution. But this is maybe one month, two months before the therapy. And we have the uh, collections that we go to UNI and we will find it. But if you go to the hospital, then you can get it. <laughs> That's the problem. But we can uh, try to find the meal, how to make the little. Uh, yes, to be uh, the, the because the position of the cancer at that time when the party will uh, be done, uh, it will change from the uh, original. So, for example, I have this picture last month, and then now the composition is done like that. So, you have to. Um, so I think it, it is the same as your interpretation of the uh, They have that uh, structure. Uh, yes. Yeah. And the data tracker is not passing the inference system. I think the model is very similar with. The mobile mobile net using the button net that then has already moved. Maybe we can also, uh, yeah, and we can see it on the screen. Okay, that is my point. Maybe I have questions or discussion, please. I you have concerns for uh, making the uh, research to all your centers to the commercialization. For the people who have concerns on integrating the research with Teaching, uh, I mean, and if it is already done, so how do we implement it? Thank you. So, uh, for the for teaching, is, uh, it's a bit easier because uh, most of the project uh, is given as assignment. Uh, given as assignment. Uh, it's putting it on a map. Uh, 
cuma research by research saja uh, is the previous data. Uh, and the masters also because we cater for I mean the master by courses since we cater for those who are working uh, working adult so therefore the classes are during weekends. I think similar like your yeah. So and uh, for PhD we have only one PhD by research. So uh, when you come to enter yeah, PhD in computer science by research. PhD uh full time three years, part time more than that. Bachelor for years. Bachelor for years. Let's just stop saying this part. I do it. Yes. 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 And then after that, uh, three weeks of uh, um, exam. Is there any questions? Well, I thought you had questions. No. So, what do you have?
So, this is PDF. Okay, so this is just basic things. So this is the work of the This is the uh, C file. Then uh, this is the data is very very nice, but the raw material is bad. Yeah. So you have to classify the raw material in this sector as it will be in the uh, second and so why why do we have to classify that? Because there is imbalance of the work so to get the easy the easy or the clean from my field will be happier than the other one. <laughs> so we have to measure about the initial equal example uh, to the worker that works and has to, to clean the seat back. That, that's the, the example. Uh, wait, that's so the preservation based on the density. So uh, this is the preservation. Uh, so the the three that is very very hard to to do uh -huh. and very easy to do. Also the aspect of classification. Yes, yes. The uh -huh. classifications. And then this is the students. So I I am kinda bring machines to Germany to uh Delhi. Uh yes, yes. Yeah. Then, then now it's presenting at Frankfurt. So this is the picture at Frankfurt. Why is that? So that was in the model, this is the best model in the night. And we have a very nice picture. So this is all the left, all the written, something like this. We have uh, many monitors and yeah, this is one CPU computer with a lot of uh, no, yeah. This is all the left. Yeah. You can uh, go there to see. It usually is up here. So this is the specification. Then you make certain specifications. This is to remove and to not easy to remove. So, how to remove it? So, you make a level thing and so on. That's kind of music. And the result is very good. And then uh, you have to apply it to the sample. And uh, you ask the plan from the top arm to to be much more uh, features in this by adding more features. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need to select additional uh, students, new students for the student for for uh, the the best. Yeah. It is not the time but for example the product, the final product has to be classified also. And I'm not uh, using for this for the environment. So that is the first one. And then the second one is the mention in a very big uh, herbal traditional work mention. So they have a very big uh, work activity. They have to uh, work to test, to analyze what is it the uh, contents inside this headline. So 
the front of this this is this from other and then they will have to uh, distribute to the analyst the same time then and this is very idea the problem is so why do we have this type of analysis very strong very big very fast and uh, and uh, Somewhere can do so many things, you know, somewhere can do only one thing, but it's too easy. And we have to look at that one, so in balance, in working, that's the problem. Then, uh, the problem is here, that our patient is quickly preparation, we love that that time. Then, uh, we, uh, and healthy and just a little and there are many things here to get uh, uh, to get some keywords just to try to find the keywords and uh, the times the uh, average time of working with this uh, parameters of chemical uh, things that have to be uh, measure. Then we can uh, we are able to see who can do this, who can do uh, other thing, who can do uh, main thing, and also uh, the times, the effort time that they can uh, work. So uh, we use not only machinery but also. Uh, if you go for the office in this, because this is not only uh, machine learning, this is a linear program as well. Yeah. Okay. And the other one, when the students uh, try to uh, classify the sound of this, of this monkey, especially to find this what is This is very specific. Monkey, uh, actually, and you have to know how many times how you can signal for the signal for the signal for the signal for the signal the signal for the 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 how to use for your time form and then and, and then uh those map frequencies of our friction and so on and then finally you can you can classify uh, classify the song very nice so if it's the same thing or you can classify some um, I think it's a very small set of tests. Yeah, we yeah. need more uh, sun and also more species. Yeah. Yes. And then I, I realized that uh, we are in the way of uh, and we probably to play the action here. So we don't need. Uh, very big, very big program, and I said to you already how to put all of the mathematics inside this very tiny. So if we go to the forest, that uh, you, you can find internet that you see this number, you can see oh this is monkey monkey a b c and so on. So that's the the yeah. 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 So that is, I am uh, based on the two uh, yeah. projects that we have with other also, and also Argy has other center that maybe we can still have a project with. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to know uh, how the 
uh, free up to them because they will pay everything and pay for the similar parking and so much like this. And our name will be there. No, no, you have to pay the passion. Okay. The tax of passion is so this uh now we are asking for the game of the government. Uh, hopefully this December will be announced to to use this app for the farmers who are working with this. Because uh, some of them sometimes they are doing nothing for uh, selling the quality of this uh, natural, so they put water and stuff. Now we still consider about the density of the fields. We just have a seven thousand. Actually, it should be twenty-two or more, because based on the color, the form, uh, the pattern. So a lot of the possibilities to be done to reduce intimidation. So now I'm still running, I'm staying uh, looking for the brand to implement it to all the farmers who will deal with the uh, company. Otherwise, the company cannot uh, do some standard, can be banned uh, by other countries or internationally if they do not make for selling export of this. Uh, yeah. Correcting all these uh, data trainings, uh, then I will see people who need it. Very cool. Actually, in the city, we have the activation. If you want to share the product with the design of the activation, then ask our students. Uh, we have to come to the KK, what's the name of KK? Then, in this, about this. Uh, a company under the law, so it's the opinion of this species. So it means that we have to talk with the company uh, to present the We have to introduce the species. But in this case, okay, uh, there are still lots of Wishes and offices of the and we don't even call my name because the company also uh, pay for meeting, pay for meeting, pay for the other things. Okay. Uh, the time is almost the end, and we should finish our discussion today. So we will finish our inside today. Okay, okay, I will close the prayer. Lord God, thank you for this afternoon. We can discuss, we can learn, we can know more about the group in the academic university. Uh, we also heard about some visions and we got some uh, implementation arrangement also that uh, please bless whatever happened on the day maybe some of the students will go and study there and some more uh, arrangement will be happen for both university you bless everything that happened and after this we will go to the university for the service bless for our art whatever we do after this Thank you, God. In the name of Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay.
So thank you for everyone who already come to join the guest lecture today and see you next time. Topic of the 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 topic of